John made history when he moved into his own home in 1983. He was one of five disabled people who started the independent living movement in England. In the late 1980s, we said, all we want is to live in an ordinary street with ordinary people in the local community. We wanted to live the life we thought was best and we wanted to make the decisions about our lifestyle in, in the way we wanted. The principle is that any decision made about a disabled person should involve that disabled person. Nothing about it's without us. Because prior to independent living, major decisions made about the lives of disabled people were made by healthcare or social care professionals. I was always, in a sense, a bit of a rebel, or somebody who didn't always fit into the usual norm. And sometimes I felt quite different from some of my fellow school friends and peers in terms of my passions and my likes, my interests. I found a Sufi group in London where I studied um, really uh, until I broke my neck. And that Sufi approach uh, transformed my life. It was a group of us. We ended up going to New Mexico, so we would build our own places to live. And four months into that project, I went to an Indian ceremony in Arizona. And when I returned, I started doing exercises in the morning, like I did a lot of the time. But I was basically just tired and didn't have the concentration that was I should have had, and consequently broke my neck. Freedom was a very important part of my life. And going into a residential home just represented imprisonment to me. And then I managed to meet a few other residents there who thought similarly to me. And then we decided to set up Project 81, because 1981 was designated as the United Nations Year for Disabled People. And we thought that would be a, a good way of making publicity about what we wanted to do. So in 1983, everything I'd been working for, or we had been working for, became reality. I moved out, moved into this flat, just felt so, so uplifted. But it was like that was another beginning, because then that was the beginning for us trying to develop independent living. It was a lot of hard work and a lot of passion. We had a major demonstration in 1988 called Rights Not Charity. In 89, six of us from the UK joined together with over 80 other severely disabled people, all living independently from about 18 different countries. And that's where we formed the European Network of Independent Living. In 2007, the UN came out with the United Nations Commission to protect the rights of disabled people. And I think we've come complete circle now. And there's something called co-production. And I think that's the future. The future of independent living, the future of disabled people's rights. As I'm getting older, I'm slowly withdrawing from all the political activities. I need to spend more time with Jana, my wife,